folks. So, today is a fantastic day because this head of hair of a mop of a head is going to go to this. It's a new haircut after two whole months. Let's go. Mm, mm. So, I just wanted to keep everybody updated on my video output on YouTube. Um, so recently, well, like the past week, I ran out of storage, which has been just fantastic. I ran out of storage on my computer, so I haven't been able to edit anything. And that's why chapter two, part two is late. But anyways, when I wasn't able to edit those videos, I really felt like I like hit hit a wall. A wall. A wall. A wall. A wall. A wall. And not being able to like work on something that you enjoy and that you're passionate about can really like it messed me up. And I was like I felt lost. I was like watching Netflix some nights. And then in the mornings, I was just like watching YouTube, like not knowing really what to do next. But finally, now that I have an external hard drive and I can finally get back to editing my videos, I just, I feel like a new person. I feel so good. And so. Okay, so on top of that good news, I also got some new good news that the lake that's near my house that I lifeguard at or have for the past two summers is finally opening up again after COVID and everything. So that means that I'm gonna make some more Monet and I'm also gonna be reading more books. Um, Usually when there's like not a lot to do and we're on break, I read different acting books. So with that being said, let me share with you some of my favorite acting books that I have read throughout the years. Trevor's Book Corner. Oh, hello. I didn't see you right behind me. Welcome to Trevor's Book Corner, where we go through the best books with the best book reviews. Alright, let's start off with number one, Making Movies by Sidney Lumet. Now, this book is all about Sidney Lumet's experience on set of many movies, and um, it just talks about him as a director, um, his experiences with Paul Newman. Uh, very good if you want to make movies. Not the best acting book, but... Solid. Next one is Hollywood Game Plan. If you really want to get out to Hollywood, find out what's the what the industry is like and make make headway into the uh, the industry out there. Uh, Hollywood Game Plan by Carol M. Kirshner is a good read. Uh, it's again not the best acting book, but it helps you get educated on Hollywood. Next one is Acting the First Six Lessons. An essential, and I say, I mean it, an essential read for the up and coming actor. Um, it's by Boleslavsky. I read it in my Fundamentals of Acting class. It has great lessons and exercises to help you practice those lessons. Highly recommend. The next one is The Actor's Life, A Survival Guide by Jenna Fisher. And it recounts her experience from high school to college to when she moved out to Hollywood, um, what auditioning out there was like, how difficult the actor's journey really is until she made her big break in the office. Um, highly, highly, highly recommend this book. It is wonderful. Great read, fast read. Um, the next one is Uta Hagen, Respect for Acting. Uh, this is the first of her two books. She probably has a ton of other books, but I just know this book and then the other book that she came out with. Anyways, 
this is a very dense read, very complex. Um, this is actually going to be my summer book. I started it last summer before I took any acting classes in college, and I, it was really above my head, really complex. But um, I'd say take a class for acting and come back to this book, and a lot of the terminology and just the way she writes will be more understanding. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for listening to my book review. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Two-third of all African Americans and two-third of all Hispanics live in low opportunity areas. And the chances of moving from a low opportunity area to a high opportunity area is the lowest in New England in the state of Connecticut. If you are born in poverty, you will die in poverty. Everyone has stereotypes, and but where are you getting these from? Do you think that um, everything you see on the news or a movie, that's how a black person is? It's, it's not true, and you have to open your mind to be able to see that. Uh, and again, thank you, everybody. I challenge us all as white people, those of us who are, to deeply examine and acknowledge the prejudices and stereotypes that infiltrate our worldview as an overt or subconscious level. As we grow and develop from childhood and establish our worldview, we make judgments about our world based on what we're taught, what we observe in our family, and our personal experiences. And, and to be honest with you, the police brutality thing, that doesn't happen here. It doesn't. But it happens all over America. And if we don't stand up for it here, even when it's not happening, it's going to keep happening. And just say, look, we all just got to get along. What we need to be saying is I see you, I will stand up with you, I will stand up for you, and I will fight alongside of you for what needs to happen. Um, I also included in the description below um, a Google Doc that one of my friends has created um, in order to help educate people better um, and figure out a way to help during these times. Um, and so in the Google Doc, there's links to organizations that are helping um, black communities, there's links to Netflix shows, HBO shows, um, websites that all helped me better educate myself on what systematic racism is and how it's been impacting black people that have been living in the U.S. There's also um, links in the Google Doc for donations um, for different, like, organizations that you can help donate to, um, so, thank you, thank you for watching.